Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been a while since I've done um, a video like this. Um, my last one was obviously all of my updates about um, my pregnancy, moving house, getting a dog, and then I've had some vlogs in between, and then we just celebrated Christmas and New Year's. I use the term celebrate very, very um, loosely just because of everything that's been happening. But I, I've been wanting to do this. I wanted to do it for my first trimester, um, but I didn't. <laughs> Uh, and I've just kind of been putting it off and then um, here I am 28 weeks pregnant 29 weeks tomorrow officially in my third trimester and um, yeah I've just really wanted to do this to um, just kind of talk to you guys about how my second trimester has been has you know gone um and how i'm feeling symptoms products that i've been using and just giving you guys a little bit of an insight on my pregnancy so far so um i am going to just get started and hopefully you guys are interested in things like this i know that um for the past few months i've been non-stop watching pregnancy videos um essential must-haves and all of those things so this is definitely something that I love watching. Um, hopefully you guys do too. If you haven't already, remember to subscribe, give this video a like, and um, if you have any questions, of course, you can comment down below. Um, and let's get started. Okay, so I just wanted to kind of start off with some symptoms and how I've kind of been feeling. Okay, so stepping into second trimester, I felt amazing. Um, definitely very different to first trimester, you know, first trimester, uh, so I found out I was pregnant at four weeks and then from, uh, uh months two and three, I was very nauseous, um, and I just was so tired, I was napping every day after work, um, and it was just really exhausting. <laughs> Um, I was exhausted and then stepping into trimester two I felt a sudden surge of energy I didn't need to nap at all um, it was also around the time that we moved into this house so um, so yeah there was lots to do and I didn't feel nauseous anymore um, however I do kind of have a sneaky suspicion i don't know if i've mentioned this before i probably have in a vlog but i was taking elevate uh prenatals in my first trimester i didn't really look into it i just kind of did what the doctor told me to do um which is very typical for a lot of first time mums um not just first time second time third time whatever um elevate didn't very i guess it didn't sit well with me I think that a lot of my sickness came from taking Elevit. So as soon as second trimester started, I stopped taking it. And um, yeah, so it could have been a combination of second trimester starting um, and stopping Elevit. I don't know, I, it, it depends. Like I, I'll, I guess I'll never know until my next pregnancy and see what it was that really um, made me sick. So yeah, so second trimester I felt extremely energetic, very positive. I started doing uh, my prenatal yoga course, which I absolutely loved. It was six weeks and um, probably the best investment that I've made. And it wasn't even like an investment. It was $165, $165? Yeah, something like that. Um, 75 minutes of yoga with... Um, uh, an amazing yoga instructor who is also a doula um, and she honestly instilled so much um, power so much knowledge um, in me um, so that was really really amazing and I had 
a really really great time doing that second trimester was also where my stomach started to grow I started to have a little cute bump which I had been waiting for because I love um, I love pregnancy bumps I think they're the cutest um, and yeah and I had a great appetite I was eating everything normally I didn't have too many cravings I really loved eating um, broccolini with a salt and pepper like uh, boiled and you know with um, butter and salt and pepper so uh, second trimester has been amazing stepping into third trimester so 27 28 weeks so the last two weeks still feel great um, I haven't had any issues obviously I have a little mobility issues like if I drop something um, I don't really want to pick it up you know it's it's down there it's quite far away I don't want to reach for it, so Sarai will probably have to reach it for me. Um, what else? Yeah, I can't put like cream on my legs. I have to kind of like lift my leg up and put cream on it that way. Um, so yeah, so obviously mobility wise with my stomach growing as each week goes on, um, I'm starting to have those kind of issues. In my second trimester, I also had um, it's not sciatica pain, it's the other one, it's called SI joint pain. Um, basically, it felt as though, <laughs> and I only had it for like maybe a week, but every time the pain came on, it was like a shoot of pain up um, my lower, like, uh, left or right side, it depended. Um, but it was horrible it felt like someone was like dragging a knife um, into my back and it was just the worst pain so um, I had acupuncture done for that and it was incredible it helped um, it definitely helped I think that's kind of what made it go away um, and I haven't had any back pain since except um, not too long ago I did have kind of like upper middle back pain which is very odd I think that that could have just been the way that I was sleeping but um, but yeah I um, one of the priorities is is continuing to strengthen my back with um, exercise and things like that um, so what else I was going to say something else and now I've forgotten which is one of the things that has pregnancy that pregnancy has really really done to me um, baby brain is real I will forget things in a split second so um, I'm gonna move on because that thought has just gone uh, I'm just gonna move on to things that I use um, on the daily maybe not all, every day um, let me just have a look here yeah these are things that I probably use daily um, that I think are a must-have um, and these things obviously work for me I don't know if they're gonna work for you but I just like to share um, what has been working for me and what I do love using during my time of pregnancy so the first thing is water so um, Siraj bought this water bottle from Kmart it is 1.5 liters it is um, steel uh, double wall insulated so this thing keeps water cold all night I'll put ice in it the night before I'll wake up the next morning shake it and the ice is still there it's incredible um, 1.5 liters so I'll try and drink two of these every day I bring one of these to work um, and then I come home and I'll I'm hoping to finish another of these sometimes I'll finish half I'll try and at least get two liters um, two to three liters of water in um, especially during summer try and get in even more water um, it is vital for every day everyone um, but even more so when you're pregnant so um, definitely have a water bottle another thing that I have been using every day is a uh, prenatal so this prenatal was um, introduced to me um, firstly by my sister-in-law and then I had followed some other 
Instagram accounts um, and they recommended this too. So this is the um, Eagle Trestles Natal. Um, it is a little bit more on the pricey side. I think this was, uh, I don't remember. Was it seven? I think it may have been like 70 or $75. It is 90 tablets um, and it also includes um, folic acid, however it's folate acid which is the more effective nutrient um, rather than the synthetic folic acid. Um, if you're interested in more information I think just google folic acid versus folate and you'll you'll learn a lot about that um obviously it's got everything else um uh biotin vitamin c vitamin d you know all of the good stuff that you need for a pre a prenatal these smell quite strong it just smells like a vitamin though but it's not I think for some people it might be off-putting and another thing that might be off-putting is the size of the tablet itself um, it is quite large let me just hold it up so it is quite large <laughs> um, um, so apart from that I also take a probiotic um, I also make um, bone broth and collagen gummies and then also I take a um, DHA uh, in liquid form so omega-3 in liquid form another thing that I have been using is um, stretch mark cream or stretch mark oil so I have been using two brands and I've kind of switched on and uh, switched between the two the first one um, that I used and I love and I bought more of <laughs> was the Willow by the Sea Belly Butter. I've used it all. I've chucked the, um, the container away unfortunately. But uh, this is great. I used one during my first trimester and then I just finished one recently. I think for the whole of... A, um, like a nine month duration you probably need four of these um, but it does come in like a little jar the jar is glass and then the butter is kind of like a balm uh, it's like a white balm that melts um, as soon as you apply it it is a hundred percent organic ingredients and it is made in Australia so I really loved this for my belly and I used it on my breast as well um, effectiveness wise I mean um, stretch mark is something that is genetic and once you get it that's it like you, you there's no negotiating unfortunately and I do have stretch marks um, up here on my breast um, they are starting to come onto my belly at the bottom and I didn't even notice until Siraj, Siraj was sitting and I walked up to him I was like oh my god babe look at my stomach it's so big and he's like Oh no, you have stretch marks. And I was like, what? And it's so funny because I couldn't see it. Because um, it was right at the bottom. Kind of like right there. And um, and yeah. And I knew I wouldn't have been able to kind of get away with it. Because I have stretch marks all over my thighs. And my inner thighs. So I'm not surprised. And um, you know. Battle scars. <laughs> um, tiger stripes. So... I don't mind and Siraj doesn't mind obviously um, but I still love lathering uh, stretch mark cream on my stomach I think it really moisturizes my stomach and my um, breast and it just feels nice um, so another brand that I've been using is the um, Willada 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 I don't know how to pronounce it but the stretch mark massage oil um, which is a certified natural skincare. I love this brand. I think it's really great. Um, this is my second bottle. The first bottle I used in between trimester one and two. So basically I, I used all of this and then I used all of this and then I bought another of this and then I just bought another of this. So um, don't ask me why I just stuck to one. I don't know. These two 
really great products i love both um yeah i think that's why i just kept using both like on rotation because i love them really um another thing is while we're on the topic of boobs and breasts so I have um, purchased some maternity bras. So obviously the girls have grown um, very much so. Um, so I had to find some bras that would accommodate for now as well as, um, as later on down the line when I start breastfeeding. So um, I went to Kmart and Kmart is so great when it comes to um to some maternity things so i bought this bra it is a breast feeding friendly bra if you guys are uncomfortable with watching things like this then just kind of skip um but yeah basically this is wire free um adjustable straps obviously and then this part here comes off so you can breastfeed so I've got that on both sides um, the pads are removable so you can take them out and wash them um, and then also the straps not the straps the um, the clips at the bottom they are normally a, bra a normal bra would have just the three and this one's got the six so I've got a couple of these another undergarment that I've been using um, that accommodates the bump uh, from Kmart as well so I think that bra is seven or eight dollars um, sometimes you can catch them on sale which is awesome and they turn out to be like five four dollars so these are maternity underwear um, so I love wearing these with dresses um, so basically obviously they go over the bump which is just here they go over the bump and um, super comfortable and I have a couple of those as well I don't remember the prices everything I um, mention obviously I will list down below so this pregnancy pillow so I bought this from Groupon it was 30 bucks um, and I really like like I hated it at first I could not sleep with it it was so high um, but I started using it um, at the in the in the early stages of second trimester where I didn't really have a bump really um, so I kind of threw this aside for a little bit and then when the later stages of second trimester started to creep on and I was getting a little bit uncomfortable um, which is when I started to use this and this has been amazing at helping me sleep on my side I'm usually a side sleeper anyways um, so it hasn't been a difficult transition at all um, but yeah I love it because I actually sleep um, with a hugging pillow which is basically it just looks like a sausage and I've slept with one of those since I was a toddler uh, I think it's like an Asian thing um, so let me know in the comments below if you know what the hell I'm talking about um but yeah so i would sleep with this since raj tends to um use this to hug <laughs> the only uh, the only thing about this that i don't like is kind of like blocks off um Siraj and i when we're sleeping so that kind of sucks a little bit and um and yeah but really really helpful for helping me um sleep on my side i know that i generally start to kind of turn on my back as I'm sleeping um, and this kind of helps me lift back up so that is really really great um, and then finally I have no I have two more things that I want to talk about so one thing is um, pregnancy apps so I started off using an app called baby center um, which is this app here it is an Australian based app and the reason that I used it from the beginning is because um, there were Australian mums uh, in the forum however as I started to use it um, I felt the forum was just super 
um, how do I say this? Misinformed. Um, there was a lot of information out there that people were giving to other people who. It was just, I don't think it was correct. Um, and I didn't really like it um, in that sense. And then there was just a lot of um, repetitive questions and, and things like that. So I stopped using it. I did recently switch to another app called Pregnancy Plus, which does not, or at least I haven't found it yet, um, have a forum. So it's simply this app right here. And it is a free app um, and it has like a, a lot of great blogs um, that offer information and, and advice and things like that if you ever wanted to look at it. But yeah, really cute. Um, you're able to, there's also a, a contraction count, like a timer, kick counter. Um, hospital bag checklist things like that you know um, really practical I really like that so I've recently switched to that and that is what I am currently using as my pregnancy app finally um, just some resources that I've been absolutely loving uh, podcasts is something that I listen to every single day I listen to probably one if not two um, birth stories every single day and I will list them down below but one of them is called Birthful which is an American American based um, podcast and she brings on women and they tell their birth stories um, and then there's also Australian birth story which is the Australian version of that and that's hosted by Sophie Walker um, but I will list those in the description box. Um, another resource is spinningbabies.com. It's got amazing information on there for not just spinning babies, like activities that you can be doing every day to strengthen your um, body and preparing it for labor, um, daily activities that you can be doing, um, just uh, so much information that you can access. So that is spinningbabies.com. Another thing that I've been doing is I've been back into reading um these books i actually borrowed from my midwife which god love her um they are a little bit old um however the content is very very relevant um so one of the first books that i've been reading is the well-adjusted babies book by dr jennifer barnum floriani i think i hope i didn't butcher her name um, this is basically a holistic parenting Bible um, and it is Australian so um, content is extremely relevant from conceiving to breastfeeding so beginning to end it's all there and just yesterday my midwife I had an appointment with her um, she just loaned me spiritual midwifery by Ina Mae Gaskin um, I've heard so much about Ina Mae Gaskin she is a midwife and she's been one for years and years and years and years. Um, she's got a lot of experience um, with childbirth and she's written quite a few books. Um, I also downloaded uh, from Audible the... Oh God, I don't remember what it's called. Inamay's Guide to Childbirth. Um, it is about 14 hours long and I just started listening to that. She's also got an amazing book on breastfeeding as well, um, which I'm keen to get my hands on. I think my midwife has that one and she's going to let me borrow that one as well. So I just started this one. Um, very, uh, it is kind of dated. However, um, I'm only up to the birth stories and birth stories are relevant every you know they're timeless so um it's great though it's very like hippie hippie feel and i love that and then i've also um i also heard about this book called birth with confidence by Rhea dempsey um savvy choices for normal birth um you know i have been during the course of my pregnancy i've been extremely positive um i try my best to um, empower myself with as much knowledge as I can 
um, when it comes to pregnancy and um, I'm very excited to talk about what we have chosen to do for my birth um, however it is something that I want to talk about later on in later on in my birth um, probably towards the middle or end of my third trimester um, but yeah all of these things that I have done um, all of these books that I've read the course we're going to a hypnobirthing course next Saturday and I'm so excited because I've been talking to the instructor for months now and she's amazing and I can't wait to finally meet her and um, attend her course and I know it seems like you guys are probably like this is so hippie-ish or um, I don't know, holistic um, way to kind of prepare for birth. And that's fine. A lot of people would rather go with the flow. I am, am someone that I feel like this is one of the most important um, things that I'm going to do in my life. Um, I don't know if we'll be lucky and we'll get to have another baby so um, I'm trying to prepare my body uh, as much as I can for this pregnancy and um, even if it doesn't go the way that we want it to and that happens a lot um, I'll feel good knowing that both Suraj and I have mentally and um, I guess educationally prepared ourselves uh, the best way we know how so I think it's really important to have that confidence and to have that positivity um, but also be realistic with things like this because obviously pregnancy and birth is extremely um, unpredictable um, and even the fourth trimester as well which I really do want to talk about um, but obviously later down the line um, so I hope you guys enjoyed my video today um, once again if you have not subscribed please subscribe to my channel I've been sitting at 93 for like a year <laughs> um, and if you liked my video give it a thumbs up and I will continue to um, create some more mum and baby videos for you guys so I hope you guys have an amazing day. Thank you so much again for watching and I'll see you in my next video.